Welcome, 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 welcome. How is everyone doing? Super, super, super excited. It's our moment of truth. Today we have a true life story. Today we have a true life story, true life story, true life story. Today we have a true life story. Today we have a true life story. She almost ruined a marriage because of greed. Greed, greed, greed. Greed is very dangerous. Greed is a dangerous thing. Greed is a very dangerous thing. She almost ruined a marriage because of greed. So today, if you can hear me, let me know that you can hear me. If you can see me, let me know that you can see me. If I am bright enough for you, let me know that I am bright enough for you. By doing what? By showing me the red buttons and by clicking the blue buttons. Remember the rules and the regulations of our broadcast. You need to engage and you need to react. Go ahead and share the broadcast to other people to join us. Happy weekend, happy weekend, happy weekend, happy weekend, happy weekend, happy weekend. Blessings, 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 blessings. How are you, Ruth? How are you, Faith? How are you, Master Resmell? Master Resmell, my God. That's a very wonderful name. Hopefully, you know the meaning of some names that you use on Facebook. Um, please go ahead and share the broadcast for other people to join us. Today, we are coming to speak on a true life story that says she almost ruined a marriage because of greed. 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 The word greed. Ha, she almost ruined a marriage because of greed. Most of us, we have ruined our relationship, but I'm not really interested if it's about relationship, if it's just about dating and it got ruined. It's okay. But your own marriage, my goodness, your own marriage, your own marriage, your own marriage. Please go ahead and share the broadcast. We need to get in more people for us to start. She almost ruined a marriage because of greed. Is it okay for us to be greedy? The question is, is it okay for us to be greedy? Is it okay for us to keep our um, achievements to ourselves, our wealth to ourselves, our riches to ourselves? Is it okay for us to keep those things from our partners? Is it okay for us to keep those things from our spouse? Is it just okay like you should hide the things you have even at the verge of um you know even at the verge of danger you could not still expose and say oh there is something that i have and i think i really need to share even in the difficult times where families are having issues because of greed you still refuse to share your wealth my god this one is so powerful this one is so nice this one is so educative and i know that you are gonna learn something and I am going to learn something. Please don't just keep mute on me. I have already posted it. It is an interactive section. You are coming to, to do what? To discuss. We are coming to discuss and I have asked a question. Wherever you are tuning in from, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. But you know what? As you connect, stay tuned. Today we are discussing on the topic that says, she almost ruined a marriage. She almost ruined a marriage because of greed. Greed. Because of greed. She almost ruined a marriage. Please make sure you are engaging. Make sure you are reacting. If we get disconnected, I will not come back. If we get disconnected today, I will not come back. If we get disconnected, I will not come back. So please release your hearts. Release your shares release your like if the video gets disconnected i am coming back so today's topic is is it okay for us to keep our achievement and our wealth to ourselves is it okay for us to keep the things we have from our spouses i know some people will say okay i married him 
Oh, I got married to her. And whatever I had when I was, before I met him belongs to me. It's not what we need to share. It belongs to me. Whatever we had before we got married belongs to me. It does not belong to him. Some people say, oh, so now I want us to interact. I want us to talk to each other. Is it okay for you to keep your wealth to yourself? Is it okay for you to keep your achievement to yourself? Is it okay for you to keep what you have to yourself? Is it okay for you to, you know, just hide it and say, no, I don't want to share. I don't want him to know what I have. I don't want her to know what I have. So what I have is mine. What he has is ease. Is it okay for you to keep those things away from your partner? This is the first question. So if you're saying that it is okay for you to keep your wealth to yourself, let me see you. If you're saying it is not okay for me to keep my wealth to myself, I think that we need to let each other know. Transparency in relationship, transparency in marriages is very, very essential. So let me hear your take on this. Is it okay for you to share your achievements with your partner, what you have with your partner, what you have with your, you know, with people? Or you just keep it to yourself and say, no, I am not going to share my achievements with anybody. All of these things, I acquired them by myself. Why do I need to let my husband know what I have? Why do I need to let my wife know what I have? Is it okay for you? To tell me, please, thank you for admiring me. That's not the topic for today. The topic for today is, is it okay for you to keep your wealth from your family? You guys are just busy saying, my God, my God, my God. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Thank you very much for the admiration. But please, go ahead and share the broadcast. That's why you are here. I truly appreciate you admiring me. But send out the broadcast so that people can join. That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. If you feel that I look good, share it so that other people can see how good your woman of God looks. And people should come and learn from this. If you are going to learn from this, um, no, it's not okay, but yeah, can't touch. Wow. Somebody says it's not okay, but yeah, can't touch. It's not marriage right now. It should be what they bought before they got married. Wow. Okay. So these are people's uh, intake. So please go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Your contributions are very welcome. Go ahead, your contributions are very welcome. I am just reading the comments and I am blushing. You know why? I am blushing because um you actually you you actually is getting it. You actually you're not getting it. You actually getting it, you actually are not getting it. It's not okay at all. Sharing whether asset is an integral part of the marriage. God bless you. Okay, so we are still hearing from people. Remember, it is your opinion, right? Remember, it is your opinion. Remember, it is your opinion. Remember, it is your opinion. So don't feel shy to express. Okay. So it is not okay for you to hide secrets. Secret marriage is not good. I don't think that's a secret marriage, though. The person you got married, right? It is a true life story. So I just wanted us to get at least 30 people before I start the story. But I see that you guys are not sharing the broadcast. We have only 89 shares. Please, if you have not shared the broadcast, go ahead and share the broadcast. Write the person's name that you want the person to connect on this live broadcast, the way it appears on Facebook, and they will just connect on the broadcast. Share the broadcast to people in your messenger. Share the broadcast to people on WhatsApp. Share the broadcast to people everywhere. Remember, some husbands will share their wealth with their wives and everything, just them. 
for me the moment you and your boss have started a strong relationship together i think it's okay to keep whatever you have to yourself i think it's not okay to keep whatever you have to yourself that's a very good point i will go with you okay so some people might not really want to share their wealth in marriage in relationship in whatever the reason might be please go ahead and share the brokers if you have not shared the brokers you don't need a reminder for me to keep reminding you that you need to share the brokers so if you know that you haven't shared those brokers please go ahead and hit the share button and let us get it going for god let us get it going for god you know sometimes you don't really know what you would do to somebody you don't really know what you would do for somebody you don't really know whose marriage you will save you don't really know whose home is on fire but as you release that share button and they join and come to hear the true life story of another then they do what then they obviously and automatically learn from it so today we are going to be running this true life story it is a true life story of a lady it is a true life story of a lady who got married to a man i am not going to wait again because the more i wait the more people are not uh sharing so i'm just going to do my thing and get out of here that's why these days i am feeling reluctant to come live because you are feeling reluctant to do what to share it takes two to tango right so when i know that you have started playing a no no with me what do i do i leave you like it's funny you take me like a joke i leave you like it's funny you play with me i leave you like a joke and then you are like oh woman of god please come live we miss you come live we miss you anyways that's by the way god bless those sharing i am just sharing to some groups that i know that usually message me to say please anytime you go live just let us know that you are live and we want to join you live we don't want to see your broadcast after the live service we want to meet you when you are live so i am trying to share to those groups so that they can join live because some people say i have never met you on live i always watch your broadcast after you have gone so i want to meet you live so please the question for today is is it okay please make sure that you're sharing the brokers please make sure that you are sharing the brokers make sure that you are sharing the brokers is it okay for us to do what is it okay for us to i'm going to tap um the comment for today so that some people can see it what we are discussing about because some of you you don't follow the post so it's really hard for you to see what we are discussing about so today's topic is is the topic is that she almost lose a marriage she almost lost a marriage because of greed let's discuss is it right i think i just put in a comment okay so i'm going to pin that for everyone so that when you come in you know what we are actually discussing so that's the topic we are discussing and i am going to be starting right away so today i am telling you a true life story of a lady who got married to a guy and when she got married she she had nothing when she got married she had nothing at all so the husband was very rich the husband was very very rich but she had nothing she was just a housewife and she got tired of staying home and they had one son a boy so she got tired of staying home and she was like i, I want you to do something for me i want you to do something for me if you can just open a business for me a place where i can at least go out in the morning and come back in the evening so that i can get things going for myself and all of that and the husband was like you have your son to take care of why don't you take care of your son and all of that why don't you just focus on the activities of the house why don't you just put your energy to take care of the boy and arrange the house instead of looking for a job and all of that so the husband didn't want her to work for anybody so she decided that she was going to go into a business how about she doing a business and the husband said okay no problem 
so he allowed her to get a business people are not engaging people are not reacting i'm going to go off right now i'm going to go off right now because it seems as though i'm talking to myself it's like i'm talking to myself and i see 28 people online with me but it feels as though i am talking to myself i'm going to disconnect the broadcast if that happens again that's the very last warning if that happens again i'm going to disconnect this broadcast and i won't come back tomorrow i might not even come for the sunday service so please be very warned i don't like that you cannot come on somebody's platform and the person is talking to you and you are just behaving like an idiot you are not an idiot so behave like somebody that has senses when you are communicating with someone it is either you are answering or you are not there so stop behaving like you didn't you you've never had manners from where you came from that's bad okay i hate mean people i hate people that are mean all right so god bless you patricia so she got married to this man and the man was very rich and she just wanted something to do you know how boring it can be if you're staying at home all day for those of you that have finished school or you just got into a new married or a new marriage or you just uh, relocated to a place you know how you know how well it is for how bored you can be like you know you feel so boring and i want to believe that that was a story she was always boring staying home all day the child goes to school the husband goes to work and she was just home alone she was always very very boring and she decided that she wanted to do something that she wanted to get into more activities to get herself involved in the society so the husband said he doesn't want her to work for somebody maybe be an employee or something so the the, the lady kept persuading and persuading that no she's tired she wants to do something she knows that if she gets something doing that it will be very good for her but guess what the husband eventually opened a business for her and she went into the business and she was doing the business and the business was flourishing the business was doing very well and she decided to hide the good aspects of the business from the husband the, every time she comes back she tells the husband that it's so bad people are not patronizing the business people are not coming to the shop people are not buying from her and all of that people are not doing anything and you know and the husband was like if the business is not working for you i'm taking good care of you why not come back and do your your duties as a housewife right you were a happy housewife so why not come back and do your business as a housewife which was working for you she said no she still wants to start because she's just uh, she still wants to try because she's just starting and she knows that everything will be very good for her with time so the husband allowed her but her business was booming her business was doing very well she was on top of her business she went ahead and opened other businesses she went ahead and acquired lands she went ahead and built a mansion for the father she went ahead and opened a, a built an hostel and put students in the hostel she opened a business and she puts uh, students in the hostel uh, you know when you when you kind of build something and then you are renting it out to students and the students are living there in the rental apartment and they are paying you but all these things that she was acquiring she did not tell the husband she did not bring the husband into the picture she just made it look as though the business was collapsing nothing was working and all of that and you will not believe what happened she went ahead and she was still collecting money from the husband she was still collecting money from the husband every day she comes she will say oh my business is not even good i'm even owing people i need money to pay the rent i need money to renovate the shop i need money to restock more goods because you know it's not uh it's not really going well and the husband believed because he was a rich man he had it and she kept changing things two months after a two, few months after she went into the business she requested for a change of car she was driving a toyota corolla that was changed for her to a, a, a an infinix she started driving an infinix 
and then she requested for her shop to be stocked up that maybe because the shop is not really stocked that's why people don't really see the goods to come and buy because the shop is small so she believes that if she restock her goods people will see it and they will come to buy so the husband restocked the shop for her and she started making a lot of sales taking care of herself she was just taking care of her family keeping things away from the husband and made it look as though she was suffering she painted the picture as though she was suffering and still needed the man to help her and still needed the man to uh, to accommodate her and still needed a man to do so many things for her menenatu remove that angry face before i block you menenatu remove that angry face that you put on that comment before i block you it is not by force for you to re to comment you be very careful i'll block you so the husband was like wow why would my wife be behaving like that why would my wife business not be going on well why wouldn't things be fine for her so she kept doing all those things and one day the husband had a call and she had a friend who was advising her it was not even her fault that she didn't want to share the things she had with the husband but it was the fault of a friend whom she had she had a friend who was controlling her who was telling her what to do and what not to do she had a friend who was telling her where to go and what not to go what really transpired is that she was making so much success she was making so much wealth and success and then she contacted her friend and said wow i don't know how what to do for my husband my husband has been so loving my husband has been so caring my husband has please don't tell me you're sorry remove that angry face that you have put today remove it the husband was like i said remove it don't tell me that you're sorry remove it the same way you put it click on it and remove it the husband was like okay I'm going to I'm going to help you. I know what to do. He changed the car. She started building for the father. She did not tell the husband. She started building the hostel. She did not tell the husband. She started acquiring the landed properties. She didn't tell the husband. Everything she was doing, she was keeping it from the husband and out of the husband's space. She was not telling the husband. So the husband too was not even aware. You know when you are rich, you're rich. You don't even have time. To go and be checking on your wife and all of that you don't have time to be spying on, on uh, you don't have time to be sparring on your wife and all of that so one day the husband had a call the husband had a call where his business was not working well before the husband had that call she has gone to her friend and said I want to celebrate my husband he has done so well for me he has done too much for me i don't know what else to do without this man so i just want to celebrate my husband i want to make my husband really happy and the friend says you want to celebrate your husband are you stupid if you celebrate your husband now with the kind of money you want to use to do the celebration he will never help you again he will know that you have money so hide your resources from him don't give him anything instead just tell him that oh i would have loved to do this i would have loved to do that but i do not have the means of doing it but never you allow your husband to know what you have otherwise he will not take care of you again otherwise he will not he will not have your time again otherwise he will stop giving you money this was the mistake i made in my marriage when i had to give my husband um uh, when i have to open my wealth and my riches to my husband this was the the starting point of my downfall i lost everything that i had because i was listening to uh, uh sharing everything i had with my husband and she just quickly she just quickly accepted the idea that okay i am not going to tell my husband i am not going to share anything with my husband i'm going to keep my wealth to myself and this lady kept advising her because the lady was in tones very jealous because she had a good marriage the lady was jealous the lady was not happy with the way her marriage was going on well please make sure you're sharing the broadcast and make sure that you are talking back at me i have pinned the comments i have pinned the topic for today down there 
is it okay is it right to keep secret in marriage especially concerning your achievements please let me know your opinion on this don't mind that lady that put that angry face there that's how some people bring causes upon their life all the the, the the things for you to engage on a live broadcast is for you to put angry face it's not your fault may god forgive you okay so back to what we were saying i don't like when grown-up women behave like children in the kindergarten okay so she kept on advising the lady badly don't do this don't do that don't give him don't share it don't tell him keep it to yourself the moment he knows that you are rich he will not help you again he will not say anything to you again and the lady kept on like that listening to her friend without believing that it is maybe the friend just wants to deceive her maybe the friend it's good to have a mind of your own and not go with what other says to you very good because even if the friend had told her don't buy this thing for your husband don't throw an anniversary party for your husband because he will feel that you have money at least she would have just told her okay even if i wanted to do a very big even if i wanted to throw a very big party with what you're saying now i am going to try my best to do what i am going to try my best to make it small i am going to do a small party just for the two of us so that you will not know but this one she went ahead and she just believed her and she did not do the anniversary party again that is not even the shocking aspect of this true life story the shocking aspect of the true life story is that after she has acquired all of this wealth and the man who made her to have this wealth remember that they had just one son it's just one son that they had she started playing into the heart of this man it asks why some women when you know that your husband loves you you start taking advantage of him it is bad this lady did not want to take care of anything about the house again she just wanted to be a woman of her own she wanted a mate because she didn't want her business started booming that she didn't have time again to be doing the house choice so she now hired a maid she hired a maid she hired a driver who would take the child to school and bring the child back somebody that will be in the house when the child is comes back from school and eventually the child came back from school one afternoon and she realized that and he realized that the both parents were not home and he was at the gate and a good samaritan picked up the child and took the child somewhere what if it was a kidnapper that carried their child that is how they would have lost that child both this lady got so wealthy that she didn't know what she would do with her money she started doing things for her own family the husband was out of the picture and as time went on as years went by five years down the line the husband lost his container he was duped because he was talking to a particular business partner whose as account was was hacked and he didn't know because they have been talking and um, they have been talking on um they have been talking on the social platform right so he just transferred everything he transact every business everything he was doing was just going on and eventually they lost everything the husband lost everything all the money that he invested in that business was gone and now as a good wife you know that somebody made you to get to that level how many of you would have come in to help your husband when your husband was down but this woman refused to help this woman refused to help the husband was even lamenting that the last money he has in his account was just the, the uh, 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 less than a million and if they use that million that less than a million to pay their rent they will be stranded they will not have money to pay rent again she said go ahead and pay just pay don't worry money is gonna come from somewhere just pay just pay and the man paid and she called a friend and she said ah 
I am pitying my husband. Oh, he doesn't have, he doesn't have money. Even the rent that he paid, he showed me his account. His account is, is left with 3,000 Naira. He does not have. She said, ha, ah, what do you mean by he does not have? Once a millionaire is a millionaire. Even if he doesn't have money, don't he have millionaire friends? Don't he have relatives? Don't he have parents? He came from a royal family. So don't worry. He will make up, he will find a way to raise money. Just he's, he's trying to see whether you will bring your money. Some men are like that. When they are tired of working, they come up with stories and all of that. And she listened. You know, some of you, people will be breaking your homes. People will be breaking your relationship. People will be giving you bad, bad advice. And you'll be buying into it. You'll be buying into it. So she obliged. And she did not bring the money. She did not bring the money to assist this man to pay rent. As if that wasn't enough. Another strategy strike. Another strategy strike. Their only son became very sick. Their only son became very sick. The son was very sick. And the husband was like, you know that our son is sick. And he needs to go to the hospital. And I do not have money to take him to the hospital. Please, from what you have, can you just bring money so that we can send our child to the hospital? This woman says she doesn't have money. She called a friend and she told the friend. He says, my husband says, I should bring money. They went to the hospital. It's not even the husband that says bring the money. They went, they went to the hospital and the doctor says, when they went to the hospital, the doctor said to them that the child is sick and that he needs to undergo an operation immediately. And what they were asking for was just a million three hundred thousand three hundred and fifty thousand naira, not even up to the amount that they are paying house rent with, not even the amount that they are using to do their business. And they do, they, they were asking for three hundred three hundred and fifty thousand. This woman says she doesn't have that. The husband should go and look for the money and then call the friend. And says my son is very sick and the doctor says we should pay three hundred and fifty thousand naira down the man says the the, the friend said that the, the the lady said and what is the man saying she said he doesn't have money now i saw his account the last money is in account was three thousand naira so i know that he doesn't have she said he's lying let him go and run around for money let him call his friends let him go and borrow let him go and take a loan before they could come up out before they could come up of pocket before they could come out of their pocket to raise the money and her money was lying in the bank the rent she was collecting from the campus she was building the money that was coming in from her business she refused to remove this money to pay her son's hospital bill and even plan you know if i was the one i would just tell the doctor okay now i know that my son is very sick and I don't know when the father will bring this money. I'm going to pay you this money. When my son brings the money, please, you do what? You give it to me. But this woman had the mind. Somebody says marriage is something that you have to discuss. Marriage is... I want to read that comment. It says marriage is not something that you have to discuss with a friend always. Your marriage issue and plans. To yourself because moment you start discussing your marriage issues with a third person you will definitely get bad advice very true very very true and that's what people do today so if she was intelligent you know sometimes greed greed is very bad greed is very bad she would have planned with the doctor and said okay doctor i don't want to pay this money on my own but I have money I am going to give you to go ahead with my son's treatment. When my husband brings the money that he has gone to look for, you give it to me. Collect it and give it back to me. At least the doctor would have understood. But this one, she lavishly kept her money. She did not even want, like, there was no epiphany on her brain for her to, to even come up with a conscience and say, okay, I am going to help my son. This is my son we are talking about here. Not just this man's son. This is my child. I am the one that felt the pain of the labor, not even the father. 
The pain of the labor was on me as a mother, not even the father. But she refused to bring the money for them to pay the hospital bills. She kept listening to her friend. And after two days, after two days, the child died because the man was not able to raise money. And the man did not come back to the hospital because he could not stand, he could not stand it. I remember that when they kidnapped her child, she was crying, calling the police station that they should put the put it in every social platform, every news that she will pay, even if it's a billion that she will pay. And now, 350,000, your friend says, don't pay for your child. Because if you pay, the father will know that you have money. And next time, when there is a problem, you will be the one to always settle it out. You will be the one to always sort it out. Oh, my God. I feel really sober. That's why you see me. I keep cleaning my nose. I feel really, like, I feel really sober. I feel really teary. She refused to help her own child, the only son that she had. She refused to help him. And you know what eventually happened? So, two days after, the son died. And as soon as the son died, the father was able to come up with the money. And he came to the hospital with the money. But the son was already gone. And when the son was gone, she called the friend and says see what you have cost if you have allowed me to pay for my son's a uh, hospital bill my son will not have died now i have lost my son do you know what she said she said you are not the only one that lose him though he also he also lost him so that's okay a mother you carried your child for nine months you had child pain you had everything you grew up with this child and because your child, you because of your evil friend, because of your gossip partner, because of a woman that does not even have a family of her own, because of a woman that is not even proud of having a child or is not even proud of your marriage, is advising you. You decided to pay attention to all of her advice and you end up losing your son. And they buried the son. After they lost the son, they buried the son. After the son's burial, of course, you did not expect things to be the same. Things started changing. As God will have it, things, things started unfolding. Things started unfolding. And the man got to the man got to start monitoring her. The man was asking questions like, What are we going to do? She said, We. What do you mean by what are we going to do? You are the man. Please just go and settle things because me, I'm not ready. I don't want outsiders to know what is happening in our homes. So just run around and bring money and pay the rent because I'm not going to let people know what is happening. First, we lost our son because of your carelessness. You could not keep money in savings. You could not give me money to keep this, this, this. And the man said, with all the money I gave you to put in your business, if you did not do that business, probably that money will still be in my account now. But I gave it to you to do business. I changed your car for you and now you are still blaming me ah, some women eh? and the man was like and now you are still blaming me for the for, for the loss uh, for the loss of our child and the, the, the woman says okay we will see about that she started going to the family house and telling the parents some parents do you will never correct your children even when your children are wrong you cannot tell them that what you are doing is wrong you cannot tell your children that what we, the part you are trading is not good is it really okay is it really okay that we should keep secrets in marriage especially when it comes to our achievements what you have achieved in life what you have acquired in life she went to the father and told the father and the father was in support she even told the father i want to build a mansion for you and the father was wow really and the husband was living in a rented apartment. You are building a mansion for your father. And you are living in a rented apartment. You could not put head together and tell your husband, come, let us build a house so that we don't have to pay rent. But because you are greedy, you wanted him to be spending that money. You are happy when your husband is spending that money. You don't want him to save so that he will not do better than you. Ah, some women are wicked. 
few months after a few years after the husband lost that job right they buried their child the husband was still jobless for the next six years the next seven years he didn't have a job to do in one day the she was in the bathroom and she had a phone call and the husband picked up the call and they when the husband picked up the call the man was saying madam sorry oh please sorry we couldn't pay in the money yesterday but we have paid in the money into your account 10 me 20 million or 10 million naira into your account we have paid in that money into your account so use it the next week we will finish it up we will double it up and please endeavor to send us more clothes so that when we finish um when we finish uh, selling the clothes, we will pay you back. The husband was shocked to know that his wife now has started clothing business and did not tell him. All he knew about was the Wivon business. So how did the wife start the clothing business and the accommodation business without telling him? So when the wife came out from the bathroom, the husband confronted her and says, Honey, have you started clothing line? Do you have an hostel where people rent? She said, yes. And the husband says, did you just say yes? I didn't expect you to say yes. I expected you to deny it. I, just, I expected you to, to, um, to lie. I expected you to say, no, it's not true. The money is for somebody, but I am surprised that you are standing before me and you are acknowledging that you have a clothing line, that you have an hostel where you rent out to people and all of that. You know, when God wants to disgrace you, God will open up the secret and everything that you have been hiding. Another day, the father called. And she wasn't around. The, the husband picked up the phone. And the father said, my daughter, uh, the workers have been building the mansion. Thank you. The work is going on very fast. We need five point something million to buy material so that we can finish up. The, the building that you're building for me in the village. The husband was shocked. He came back. He confronted her. Are you building a mansion for your father? She said, yes, I'm building for my father. And what is it? This man just slumped on the chair. You know, when they, you know, there are some news that is broken to you and you cannot contain it. There's, there is a height of betrayal that you will get to. You will not be able to contain it. Like you'll be telling yourself, what is this? You'll be telling yourself, how did I get here? What is actually happening? What's going on? That was the story of the uh, of the man and the father was the father was like how can you be building a house for me without telling your husband so after everything opened up the husband went to the hospital and he regained consciousness he said he, he cannot stay in that house again with the woman he says he cannot marry such a woman that she 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 was deceitful and all of that he decided to move on with his own life so he moved out of the house when he moved out of the house she called the friend and said my husband has moved out of the house and then the friend said you see what i was telling you i told you that he will go i told you that he only came for your money i told you that he didn't like you the lady said no that's not the problem. The problem is that you ruined my marriage. The problem is that you are the one causing all those problems. The problem is that you refused me being trans uh, transparent to my husband. And now he has realized the whole truth and he cannot stand it. She said, oh, that's not it. That's not it. He would have still left. He, this kind of men don't love. They just care about what you have. So when she went to the father to tell the father everything, the father said to her, you are wrong. You would have openly told your husband what business you were into. You would have openly told your husband what you were building. You would have openly told your husband what you have acquired from what he gave you. He would have been more proud of you. He would have been so, eh, 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 eh. he would have invested more money in your business because he knows that the wife is doing very well, not by hiding the the your wealth and your achievements from your husband the father scolded her the father told her what she was doing was wrong the father told her the path she was trading was not the best whoever advised her was not advising her in a place of a, a, a in a place of positiveness the person was advising her in a negative place to ruin a marriage so the father said so how how bad is it she said the man has left the house i'm now alone and the father said you see because of your greediness, you lost your son. You had money. 
you refuse to bring money to pay your son's hospital bill in the name of a friend you were listening to a friend you were listening to what somebody is saying how will you and the father was like how would you have listened to what your friend is saying how would you have listened to the advice of your friend how would you have listened to the what people were saying instead of you to build your own home you were busy listening to what your friends are saying and the advice they were giving you she said yes the father was so disappointed in her the father was very 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 disappointed in her and the father decided to call a meeting with the in-law so he called the man and the man says the only reason he will come is because he's the father and when the father came the man the, the lady knelt down and the lady begged the lady said she's sorry she has regretted and all of that and the husband came back the man knelt down and begged and said please you know sometimes we are led into some things because of the kind of friends that we keep the people that gives us advice i am so sorry that she had to be receiving advice from a friend i don't even know why she had to trust a friend over the family because she never told us all these things but she was busy telling it to an outsider without sharing it with the father or with the family so the father was like i don't know why she would do that i don't know why she would believe a friend over a family so they paid the man and the man let go of everything and then they started enjoying their they started enjoying everything again the lady now abandoned the business that was giving her problem that almost broke her marriage and started being a good wife she says she doesn't want to go back to the business again she wants to be a good wife because the business she was a better wife and she was enjoying her marriage before she had the business that almost broke down her marriage for her so the husband was eating in the house they were just living like strangers the husband just eats wake up in the morning and say good morning there was no intimacy no room nothing they were just living like that you know when you are when you are doing something because of people have begged you to stay but your mind is far away so she repented and stopped going to the market she started washing his clothes again doing things in the house taking responsibility and all of that so the husband saw that she has changed and said why are you not doing your business again she said how will i continue to do business the business that almost ruined my marriage so i don't want to lose my husband i better lose this business and not lose my husband they, you are more important to me than the business and that, that was very very uh, um, that was very very touchy for you to know that you are more important to somebody than the person's business or whatever so the husband took sides with her and decided to you know make things make up things with her and all of that in the everything went back together and months later she conceived and she was pregnant with she was pregnant the doctor's results when they did the test says that she was pregnant and the husband who has lost his job for seven years he was called back with the companies that have rejected him um loans and all of that they told him to come and take um um they told him to come and pick up materials and sell and pay back after he has sold them okay and then things went back for them and she learned a lesson somebody says medicine after death she's lucky to have a good husband yes so you see this man gave her a second chance there are some people that will not give a second chance you lost your child because of greed now the husband has forgiven you what of the child would the child ever forgive you that child is gone you cut the destiny of a young child off because of your greed now your husband has forgiven you now you have conceived another child now you have abandoned the business what sense does it make you don't need for, you don't need to destroy things in order to make up things that is why some of us we are like that we don't know the worth of what we have until we lose it you don't need to wait when people live your life you appreciate them you you tend to realize their importance you will say ah this person was good 
you will start comparing the person to every other person that you have and you cannot measure up for it you don't need to you don't need to you don't need to you know cause havoc be wicked and all of that and before you do what before you realize yourself and come back to your senses it doesn't make sense you lost your child because of greed now you have come back to make peace with your husband but even as you have made peace with your husband now that child can never come back he is gone he is gone your husband has forgiven you are about the little blood that you wasted because of listening to friends so moral moral of all this is that learn to control your mouth learn to keep things to yourself learn not to run to anybody to go and discuss your marriage because some of the people that you're going to discuss your marriage and your relationship with some of them they are wishing to even have that man that bad man that you are saying my husband is bad my wife is bad someone else is praying for that bad husband that bad wife of yours someone else is wishing that they can have them someone else is wishing that they can come out of your house so that they can do what they can be with them someone else is wishing that you know a lot of things can happen for them to do what for them to be together but you you don't appreciate what you have you don't even know the worth of what you have you don't even know because when you had it you had it at a, at a at a platter of gold you did not suffer you don't even know how many people that man turned down you don't even know how many people that woman turned down and gave you attention and you decided to do what you decided to ruin it you just go back 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 you discuss your marriage back 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 and people are very good at advising you don't forget it is always very easy is the most easiest thing the easiest thing to do is to advise people but when it comes to you applying the principle to yourself is not easy it's difficult but the most easiest thing is to advise people it's very easy to advise somebody ask yourself the advice i am giving to somebody can i apply it to myself it's easy to give people advice it's easy to tell somebody, oh, it is okay, go and endure, go and go, just leave. I mean, I can't tolerate that from a man, I will leave. It's easy for you to advise somebody, but you, you have been in your own house. You are tolerating your husband. Some of you, he does not even give you feeding money. You are the one feeding your family. You are still there. But somebody else comes to you and say, ah, my husband is not giving me feeding money. You say, eh, and you are still there just leave the house when you see a woman talking like that <laughs> when you see a woman talking like that advising you like that don't even just know that our own marriage is not anywhere close to yours just know that our own marriage is worse than yours just know that she is unhappy in her marriage that is why she wants you to be unhappy too because anybody that is happy in her marriage will not advise another woman to just pack her things and leave her marriage and not teach her that she should endure that is for better that is for worse in as much as a man is not beating you is not breaking your head is not mo uh, 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 molesting you you don't have any right to tell somebody pack your things and leave the house then they have been enduring i told you people the story where i went to visit my friend here in canada when i got there they were fighting woo, 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 throwing things and you can hear it from the staircase coming up it is they are the only ones staying there there is no other person there they were throwing things and i've been waiting there because of the noise that was coming from the house i didn't want to enter with the heat of the the tension like that but when it got really bad that the tension was so much i have to knock immediately and when i knocked the door immediately they all changed their they change as if nothing was happening they open the door for me and they say wow what a surprise come in come in and they pretended as if nothing happened and i looked at them in my mind i'm like what in my head i'm like i know i i know that i'm not stupid so i confronted her i said what's happening why come you people were fighting she said were we fighting 
I said, yes. When I came by the door, you people were fighting and throwing things. That was why I had to knock. I've been standing here for more than 30 minutes. And then she started telling me, hmm, my dear, hmm, you are the one that separated that fight to today. I would have shown him my strength. I said, what? Have you people been fighting? And you have been posting pictures on Facebook every day, how you have a good husband and this and that. She said, ah, so my dear, my dear, you see this life? You see this life? 99% of the people will not tell you. They will not tell you my marriage is bad. They will not tell you my marriage is collapsing. They will not tell you I'm having issues in my marriage. They will paint it to be the best picture ever. So go and paint your own. Moral lesson. Do not allow your friends to ruin your happiness. If the woman was not having a good husband, that is how she will ruin her marriage. That is why the topic is she almost ruined her marriage because of greed. But she did not. But she almost ruined it. What if she didn't have a father that stepped in? And after that, she learned her lesson. Why didn't she go to another of her friends? to go and look for her advice she did not go to another friend to look for her advice but she went to the father this time around and looked for her advice because if she has gone to another friend probably they will do what probably they would have deceived her again and she will enter into another second chance she will enter into another one chance she went to the father what if she didn't have father what if her father was not alive what if the father ate all the wickedness that she has done to the husband and decided to turn his back on her what if the father was not a maybe a, a you know that there are some parents that when you have done some mistake they don't want to be a part of your mistake because you have already brought shame upon them what if the father was not the type that says okay let me try and see if i can fix up things if the father was a type that would say, oh, this girl, why would she do this? Why would she do that? Why would she bring this upon herself and all of that? For the fact that the child died, the husband will never come back. But this one, the husband did what the husband forgave. So people, there is no point hiding your wealth. What you have acquired through a man, share it with him. You were a housewife. Don't forget she was just an ordinary housewife it is this man's money that she used in starting the business it is this man's money that she made the the gain to build the hostel and go into the clothing line so why will you now hide that kind of wealth from your husband i believe that i believe that if she was a good woman she would have told the husband my husband you see this clothing line of business there is money you see the air business there is money please give me more money to put in the business so that i can make more capital you can even come and invest in this business only because it is good you can even come and invest in it because it is paying it is lucrative but then she was hiding 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 but it was this man's idea to give you billion millions of naira to put into this business and you were hiding the outcome the progress from it from him it is bad the money that a man gives to make you please when you have acquired wealth remember him put him in place don't just do what don't just ignore and say oh if i tell him that i have money he will not bring money again if i tell him that i am okay he will not give me again it's a lie there are some men that will be more proud of you when you have than when you do not have. There are some men that will invest more in you unless they were not a part of that. But when you are even hiding your wealth from your husband, it is not fair. It is not good. What if something happens to you today? What if you die? What if, paraventure, something goes wrong? You will lose all of those achievements because no, your husband didn't know. So they cannot go to pursue them. They cannot keep it going for you. Your name will just die like that. So please, don't hide 
what you have acquired. Don't hide it. Show it. Keep it. Tell it. When the man is good, say it. Don't just run to your friends and say, my husband is bad, my husband is bad. When he was good, did you tell them, my husband is good, my husband is good? You did not. We are very fast in spreading bad rumors, but we are very bad in pressing people. If I was here now to do saga, you will see this broadcast will be filled. People will be there to come and listen to the saga. Oh, what is saying? Oh, wow, they are destroying somebody. Let me go and listen. We live in a world where people are populated at where there is saga. Where there is no wisdom, where there is nothing to gain. That is where the world we live. So don't live in the world. Don't let the world live in you. But live in the world with wisdom and with knowledge. Make your ways right. Don't let people live for you. But live your life. Because at the end of the day, nobody will bear the pain. You will bear the pain yourself. So as you, as you do what? As you lay your bed, so will you lie on it. As you build your marriage, so will you enjoy it. As you build your home, so will you enjoy it. So take this message. If you have missed it from the beginning, go back and watch it. And you will see that the mistake that she did, that she did what? That she is the same person who corrected her mistakes. We cannot rewrite the wrongs. Remember, you cannot rewrite the wrongs. Sometimes you wish you can turn back the hands of clock, but it is too late. That child is gone. She cannot bring that child back. But now she needs to live a life that will do what? So that she will not make that mistake that she made again. The next time her child is sick, she will not even call the husband to wait to look for money. She will go straight and bring the money. Eventually, everything she was hiding came to an opening. And the husband knew about all the wealth and the riches and everything she was trying to keep. So people, try to be transparent. Give what you want to take. Take what you are ready to do what to give. What you sow is what you reap. You bring falseness into your marriage, you will, bring, you will meet falsehood. You bring honesty into your marriage, you will meet with honesty, truth, and you will enjoy it. But what you build with lies, you will, it will take you time to do what? To recreate it. But you see honesty, the truth is always on its own. Whether they wake you up at night, you will be able to do it, to say it, because it is the truth. But it takes a lot of energy and calculation to lie. So why do you need to lie when you can live a life of honesty? So above all, greed is dangerous. Don't be greedy. Greed is very dangerous. Don't be greedy a day at a time. And God will do what God will help you. Thank you for connecting and listening to this true life story of our sister. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your engagement and your reaction. I will see you again tomorrow by the special grace of God. If the Lord tarries, if I can, I will see you again. But until then, remain ever blessed. Remember that summer is here. Summer is here. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Make sure you are drinking as much as you can. Make sure that you are drinking as much as you can. Just keep drinking, 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 drinking. Consume a lot of water in this season. And you will keep up positively with your health. Until I see you again, remain blessed. Shalom. God bless you all. Mm-hmm.